Alrighty, boys. This is the last fighter that was released. This is Paul Craig. Paul Craig is a light heavyweight that is absolutely terrifying everybody. Terrifying everybody, of course, because of his jujitsu, but specifically because of his bottom game. He's, um, uh, <laughs> pause on that, but his ability to, uh, to submit folks from the bottom, his, his triangles, um, he's so confident in it, you know, he'll gladly sit in guard, he'll take his time setting it up, and then he just, he just locks it in very quickly, just pretty much a dangerous, dangerous guy to fight, man, so, um, we're gonna use him real quick. Thank you. I'm going to get a few fights in, in the light heavyweight division. I'm going to look for submissions. See if we can if we can get at least one submission in this showcase. It's not something that I I'm very good at. I've already told you guys that. Uh-huh. He denies that, of course. Submissions is not one of my strong suits, but we'll try to get at least one submission going here. This character model looks good. Compared to Vulcan Ozdemir, he might as well be a freaking heavyweight. Alright, this dude is really denying everything I'm doing. Which is okay. Rocked. Nice. Alright. Very good, very good. <laughs> and we're gonna try to use like a similar style to uh, Charles Oliveira, right here. We're gonna slip into the clinch. We're gonna look for those for that guillotine in the clinch. We're gonna look to take him down here. I'm gonna see if I can pull guard because that is one thing he will do. I'm just really trying to fight the way he does. He will grab you in the clinch. He will pull guard and then he will start working from his guard. He'll gladly do that. There you go. Got him. The way that I'm fighting... Oh, he got me. I was going to say, the way that I'm fighting him right now, I'm not just threatening him with uh, with takedowns. and I'm also striking him. Like I'm, I'm pressuring him. I'm forcing him to lash out. I'm countering him with strikes. I'm being aggressive with strikes. But also mixing it up, so it's a it is a like a combination of the Cain Velasquez DC Charles Oliveira style of fighting. There we go. Where you just don't know what's gonna come. You don't know if it's gonna be grappling. Probably not gonna get it. I'm gonna cancel this because I'm not gonna get it. Oh, hold on. Yes, chain it. Woo! Are we going to get it? No, we're not. <laughs> He's out. That was very close, though. That was very close. Very, very close. He could have counted into a Von Flu choke if he passes to the other side. He's up. Yeah. That Von Flu choke is something that you can catch a lot of, uh, I, I don't want to say inexperienced, just a lot of grapplers who are not paying close attention. Grapplers who are too eager with that guillotine. You know, if you notice that your opponent has passed to the, to the wrong side. In other words, like for you to finish the guillotine, if you wrap their head with your right arm, you want them to be on your right side. If they pass to your left side, you got to let go of that goddamn guillotine. You got to let go. It's over. It's done. You're not getting that guillotine. Unless you can somehow recover your guard. But once they pass to your left side, you're not getting that guillotine. You got to let go. Because if you don't let go, they can pressure into you, get you in a Von Flu choke. And then even if you want to let go, you're not going to be able to. There you go. Why not?
He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it, boys. That is unfortunate. I wanted to pull guard. I find it very, very hard to wrap my head around the fact that they did not give Paul Craig the ability to pull guard. That is absurd on, on all levels, man. He's like, it's what he does. Ouch. Nice the night. My my opponent is gassing out a little bit. Uh get off me. Nice jab. Jab jab cross. There you go. Man. He is getting overwhelmed right now. Sit him down. Beautiful. Where is my submission? Let's try the arm bar triangle. Oh. I think my man is uh, submitting right away. There you go. We're going to pass that leg over, switch the hand, then we're going to grab our foot, forward bias, and that's it. Hey, he literally gave me that submission, which anytime a player does that, that is the purest definition of a submission that there is. If somebody puts you in a submission and you stop playing, that's quite literally you giving up so thanks for that i will take it beautiful overhand to sit him down right there i've i've been using that overhand a lot more lately it's one of those strikes that i forget to use but it's a very valuable strike it's a strike that actually does quite quite a bit of damage and i like the fact that it causes a hit reaction pretty much every single time that you you land it so anyways very good one Let's move on to the next. Mirror match. I know you guys don't like mirror matches. I don't like mirror matches as well, but it is what it is. My opponent insisted on using Paul Craig as well, so here we go. May the best Paul Craig win. I think this is just probably going to end up being a striking match. Most likely. If you don't already know, I am in the blue corner. Alright, he's trying to get himself into kicking range and catch me with a head kick. That's what he's trying to do. Sit him down. And Paul Craig's head kick animation is actually a pretty good head kick to play that tactic with. Because that head kick can be very tricky. Because I sit him down again. That head kick right there. Uh-huh, my man, you are getting sat down repeatedly, bro. Yep, I know that. I see. I see what you're trying to do. Careful. Yikes, man. Mount. Go to mount. Why not? Is he going to fight it? Yes, he will. <laughs> yep, he fought it. Nope. I'm going to posture up. Oh, okay. Since I'm using a jujitsu guy, I guess I better talk about the fact that I am planning to compete on Saturday. <laughs> First time as a blue belt. I mean, I just got my blue belt like, what, three weeks ago? And um, I'm competing right away. 
You know, this is going to end up, like, if I keep going, it's going to end land me a mount if I don't get it, but I want to do it anyways. Like, you should probably cancel it, but it's okay. Yep. Trying to get him into that Sankaku, but uh, I am not going to get it, and he is going to come up and take mount. There you go. Uh-huh. But that's okay. And shockingly, with this this competition coming up at Blue Belt, I'm actually nowhere near as nervous as I was for my White Belt competition. Like, it, it's, it's a very, very interesting thing. Like, I'm sitting here almost expecting myself to start getting nervous about it, but, like, I'm not. I don't know what it is. I'm... I won't even say it's because, like, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely going to be facing tougher competition. That's for sure. I think I've just made peace with the fact that, like, I'm just going to chase good performances. If I win, I win. If I don't, it is what it is. Um, so I'm just going to go out there. And I'm, I'm looking. I think a part of it also is I'm just I'm looking forward to seeing... Looking forward to seeing what the blue belts are like. You know what I mean? Like, I roll with blue belts all the time. I roll with purple belts all the time. I'm just, I'm curious to see. I've said before that there there are a few things that I'm very confident in. Like, I'm, I'm confident in my guard. Like, blue belts don't pass my guard often. So, like, I'm very curious to see if one of them can. I'm, I'd love to see if they can, if they do. Rocked. It's gonna be a big learning experience. Like, okay, so this is how. Uh oh. All right. I see what he. I see what you're doing, man. You're you're doing the whole pull pull thing, which is okay, which is fine. Rock again. Yeah. If I get to the competition and one of them passes my guard, I'm gonna have it recorded. I get to. It's gonna be a learning experience. I get to see exactly what happened and I get to fix it another thing I don't suspect that they're gonna be able to stop me from passing I just I don't see it happening man like if I sweep them get on top I don't suspect I'm gonna run into somebody with a guard so good that I can't pass it in six minutes um, and third I don't see myself getting swept I have a very good base um, I just don't see myself getting swept. But if any of that happens, like, if I, for example, if I can't pass, again, learning experience. If I get, if I go out there and get my guard, oh my Jesus, that was so close. Wow. Oh my Lord, bro. That, ooh, lucky again. Lucky again. This time he got lucky. Because... Do you see what we're doing out here, man? We're just pull pulling each other. It's kind of absurd. <laughs> yeah, he's really trying to time that head kick. Rocked. Yeah, if one of them passes my guard, can't wait to see how he does it. If one of them sweeps me, which... I think me being swept will be the biggest shock. <laughs> I think I think even worse than than having my guard passed. It's it's like damn, like I'm a, I would really like to see how they how they did it. Um, so just, I think that's just why I'm excited, man. Cause mount again. That's why I'm excited. Cause now we're we're starting to. We're gonna be facing people with some, you know, with some, some, some real skill, and uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be very fun. Of course, my goal is to go out there and get gold again, but um, I'm just more at peace. I put it that way. More at peace. And I think it's a very good mentality to go in with. 
Last time I was just too nervous, man. I was too nervous. I mean, it ended up paying off, but like I should not be um because I told you guys, man, the night before I wasn't able to sleep. <laughs> it's just not good, man. I had to like drink a soda shortly before my match just to like wake myself up, which is kind of that's not something you should be doing before a competition. Oh, I'm going to drink a Coke just to like shock my system or something. Oh, sit him down. So this time I suspect I'm going to get a good night's sleep cuz I'm not I don't I don't give a shit. And then also it's going to be it's going to be a, a a semi big group of students from my Oh, wow. Nice. Back up, back up, back up. You're gassed, homeboy. It's gonna be a big group of students competing as well. Some white belts, some blue belts. I think a uh, purple belt. So, we're gonna have teammates there as well. Aha! Dude, I was trying to go half guard. That's it. Good night. I figured this was this one was going to be contested on the feet and decided on the feet. Fine by me. Not worried about it. Not worried about it whatsoever. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed the match. If you did, you know what to do. Drop a like. I'm gonna see if I can get one more submission before this showcase is over. We submitted the first opponent. Let's see if we can get another one. So let's do let's see, let's see what we can do. Be right back. I competed twice at white belt. Um, my goal at blue belt is to compete as many times as my body allows. I think I think blue belt is going to be my longest belt by far. I um, dude, are you there? <sighs> okay. Like, I, I don't want to just take the win. I, I want to make sure that you're there to fight back, but uh, I'm glad you are. Uh huh. Looks like we got ourselves a creative fighter that wants to knee me. Come here, boy. If you don't mind putting on your back. Oh, look at his name. I can't, his name is not showing up. Hey, man, I don't know how you did that, bro, but uh, I'm a light. To, I'll, I'd love somebody to tell me how the hell to do that. Boom. Nope. You shouldn't have done that, sir. Because now I'm looking to submit you from the back. Nope. Give me that arena naked. Oh, oh, pre denying. I right. okay, okay. I see you. I see you. All right, let's wait. Watch. There it is. Arena choke. Yep. I... <laughs> the grapple advantage meter showed it all. Yes, let's chain that. Let's chain that. Come here, boy. Umbar, Umbar, Umbar. Oh, it's gonna be close. Got him. Beautiful. And that's going to do it, boys. That's going to do it. I'm going to end it right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Paul Craig got a beautiful, beautiful Umbar. I believe it was against Jamal Hill dislocated his arm when we first watched the fight we all thought the arm was broken just because of how nasty it was it was like an arm bar triangle combo got him in a triangle extended his arm and was just blasting his blasting him with elbows and punches to the head while jamal hell's arm was flopping around like a fish on land but later on it was discovered that oh look at his ears Oh my goodness, I'm getting Shrek ears. What the hell? That's so gross, dude. <laughs> I absolutely hate when the old, when the Shrek ears thing happens in the game. Still happening, I guess. Anyways, 
I'll leave it at that. Thank you for watching, boys. If you enjoyed the video, please go right ahead and leave a like. It helps out the channel. Always does. And I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Major thanks to EA for these fighter updates. Hope we can see some more. Cheeto Vera. Hopefully we can we can get him in the game soon. But um, yeah. Have a good one, boys. Peace out.